Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's learn. In this video, you will learn how to do visual enhancement task on Novo platform. We need to visually enhance this slide. If you have a closer look at the slides content, it seems like we have to create a timeline that will represent this given information. There are six points that we have to represent on our timeline. To accomplish this task, you have all the liberty to put your ideas or imagination into the slide. You can do this in thousands of ways depending on how creative you are. I will just show you one simple way to accomplish this task. So let's start again with a new slide frame as we did before in the previous task. Insert some shapes. I will go with Sabron under block arrows. Align middle. Turn on the guides for visual reference. Align left. Now we need to decide what size should be picked for this shape. The height looks ok so we will try to find out the appropriate width for this shape. We need 6 of these shapes to make our timeline. So we will just calculate the width of the slide frame and divide it by 6. We need to have a look at the original template, left as and right as, both are 4.96 inch from the center line. So the width of the slide frame would be 2 times 4.96 that is 9.92. Further divided by 6 it comes to 1.65. So that is the size we will pick for this shape. Now press and hold Ctrl plus Shift to make 5 more copies of this shape. Align right. Then distribute horizontally. Now we don't need this light frame anymore so get rid of it. Let's insert another shape. This time we will pick the oval shape, press and hold the shift key to draw a perfect circle. I intend to use this circle as an icon placeholder. Let's change its size to 0.66 because that is what I found in the template for icon placeholders. So it will maintain consistency in our slide. Now I want to draw a dotted circle around this circle. So to do this just copy this circle, increase its size a little bit. And now change its properties. No fill. Solid line. Increase the width to 2 points. Desk type, select this one. Then align both the circles, middle and center. Again align center with the arrow. Now we will join these shapes with a line. Increase the width to 2 points, then slightly rotate the dotted circle. Now it looks fine. Next I want to put a little white circle in the middle of this arrow at the base of our icon placeholder. Make a copy of this circle. Decrease its size. Change the color to white. And place it here. Next, I want to add a text box below this arrow for the date. Enter the date manually here. Change its font type to IBM Plex Sense Medium. and size to say 20. I also would like to make it bold. In 
increase the text box size a little bit nice do the text box settings as per guidelines Align it properly with the arrow. Now it looks fine. Next copy the text box and align it right underneath it. And then copy this text from here. And place it here. Change the font type to IBM Black Sense Lite. And size to 12. Next, I want to group the placeholder elements. And add this group to other arrows. Then distribute them horizontally for the perfect alignment. Next I want to add this text and date placeholder with all the arrows. Then align them properly. Now simply copy paste the correct data. Make a few adjustment in the text boxes if needed. Use the format painter for the correct font type and font size.
now change the colors i am going to use colors used in the previous task i have copied a sample of those colors here so that i can change the colors using an eyedropper now quickly change the colors using the eyedropper tool For the last one, I will use a slightly lighter shade of the previous color. Like this. Next, add the icons. I already have downloaded the icons for this task. If you haven't seen my video about how to add the icons, you can find the link in the description. For now, I will simply drag and drop the icons at their right place. then align them properly in the end it would look like this now delete all slides except four task slides This is how the final slide will look like. Save it and then upload to no more platforms. They will review your application manually and if you pass, you will get an email confirmation for the next round of their hiring process.